Hey guys, it's Dom here from Neighborhood. Are you looking to redirect customers from one page to another on your website? Perhaps you've updated your site, branding or content and don't want to lose traffic because you've deleted a page. This is where creating a URL redirect will come in handy and we'll walk you through it right now. As a heads up, this applies to Marketing Hub Professional, Enterprise, CMS Hub Starter, Professional and Enterprise Legacy, Marketing Hub Basic. If you're keen on more practical support inside HubSpot, Neighborhood offer a comprehensive, easy to follow course so you're making the most out of HubSpot. Stay tuned for more info at the end of this video. If you wanna take your learning offline though, we'll include a free downloadable PDF in the description below. So the first thing we wanna do is head to uh, the settings by hitting the cog and heading down on the left here to the website section to domains and URLs. This is where anything to do with URLs or domains within HubSpot and with relation to your website are gonna live. Um, here, the second tab you can see at the top is URL redirects, and this is where we're gonna build the redirects that we wanna use. Uh, over here on the right-hand side with the big orange button that says add URL redirect, click that and it'll open up a little bit of a menu here so you can build the type of URL redirect you uh, need. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is jump across to another tab here where I've got some pages set up. And for this example, I'm gonna say that we wanna replace um, our test page here. So you can see the URL um, summer of selling uh, slash test. I'm gonna take that and I'm going to redirect it to um, another, another URL, uh, another page called example. So I'm gonna paste that in here as the original URL. This is the page we wanna go from. And then I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna take the new URL and I'm gonna copy that one. Now your pages or your example may not be two separate pages. It may be you've changed the URL of a, of a page. As long as you have two links, two URLs, it'll still work. For this example, I'm using two separate pages though. So I've got my original one and I've got my secondary one here. At its most basic, that's all you need. If I hit add URL redirect, then it'll add it in here. You can see our original, our redirecting to, our priority. Priority basically means that if you have a bunch of URLs that all apply to the same page, let's say for example, I'm trying to push this page to this page, but I'm also trying to push all pages on this URL to a brand new website domain potentially, and maybe we've renamed the business or something, then you would wanna set up priorities so that the system knows which is the more important redirect. Do we wanna to redirect to the new domain or to the specific page. In this case, it would be the specific page. And then finally, the redirect style. For a little bit more context on that, I'll head back into the, into the section here um, and hit more options. Um, redirect styles, there are a few different types you can use. A 301 is the most common and a 301 is what they call permanent. What that means is that you wanna shift all of the data associated with the first page, with the original page, onto the second page. You don't have any intention of going backwards. Um, so that's, that's most of what you would be doing is a permanent redirect. A temporary redirect is kind of user specific. This is uh, like a temporary, maybe it's like an event or something where at some point in time, you'll be going back to the old page, um, but maybe you're running some sort of promotion or something and you just wanna redirect temporarily. That's when you would use the 302. Proxy is a little bit different. Proxy isn't really a redirect. You're not pushing someone to a different place on, on the website or on the internet. You're basically just hiding the original content behind the new content. That one's a little bit more detailed. I think a redirect is normally what we would recommend because it's a little bit cleaner um, and a little bit easier to manage if you don't have developer experience. Priority we mentioned before. So priority, again, the closer to one uh, your number is, then the higher up the priority order it is. So you can have like, 1, 1 1.1, 1.2, and keep going down levels of detail um, all the way to two and then beyond. Uh, the closer to one, the higher the priority. Uh, and then there's some other options down here. Things like, do you want it to match the query? Again, that's kind of getting a little bit technical, but if you want um, any information that comes after the important part of the URL to be maintained, like search terms or anything like that, um, you can bring those across into the redirect too. Um, the trailing slash is just a part of that, that final slash at the end of a URL. Uh, ignoring the protocol, so uh, if you wanna overrule whether or not the page is secure and has an SSL certificate, um, that can be helpful if you're moving onto like a new site where you haven't set up your security certificate or something yet. And then disable the redirect if a page exists at the request URL. So that basically means um, if we put the page back for some reason, do we wanna overrule the redirect? Uh, that gets a bit nitty gritty. I would say probably just try and manage that manually don't rely on the system for that because it's it's 
easier to do it yourself. Um, and then just notes if you need to contextualize why you've made this redirect for future use or for someone else who comes into the system wanting to know why something was done. And there you have it. You now know how to create a URL redirect. If you're wanting to make the most out of HubSpot, Neighborhood offer a step-by-step -step course covering marketing, sales, service, and CMS Hub in depth, ensuring you and your team are best serving your customers while developing efficient internal processes. We'll include a link for this below. As well, if you're after a PDF version of this for later, or if you're passing it on to a mate in need, we'll include a link in the description. If you gain value from this video or are keen to learn more about HubSpot, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. But for now, happy HubSpotting.